This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by NatureBox. Hey, David writes in. Hey, Patrick and Snubs. I'm thinking really serious about cutting the cable and saving some serious cash. Can someone be browsing the internet or, in my case, working from home using a VPN to my office while we're watching TV? Or will we have to pick one or the other? How about the hidden costs? I already have a Netflix account, but are there other accounts that we would have to pay for that would reduce our savings? Are the major networks uh, shows strictly videos, uh, delayed broadcast, or is streaming real time nowadays? I also assume that you wouldn't have local affiliates unless you use a digital antenna. I appreciate any information you could provide or real world experience with this issue. Thanks again for all you do. Signed, David from Arkansas. Okay, so simple answer is yes, cut the cable. You will live on happy. I believe you've cut the cable and so Indeed. have I. Yeah, it's so, so nice. So I cut the cable about a year ago again and it makes me a very, very ha happy camper. When my Comcast new account sale price ran out, I quit cable and I have been saving about $50 per month. So it's definitely worth it. So first off, the woes about doing VPN to your workplace and then TV at the same time. This is totally remedied with a decent download speed on your ISP. So I currently get 20 megabits per second uh, down and then I get five up. And it's really a decent speed for the Bay Area. But if you're in a less populated area, 10 down should suffice. Uh, I know that's available in Missouri where I grew up. So you should definitely have that over in Arkansas. And it has worked for me in the past. Now, as far as hidden costs go, your subscription-based online TV includes Includes Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Amazon Prime for the mainstays. There's probably other ones in there that I didn't mention because I haven't used them. Uh, channels that do not allow on those sites oftentimes stream their own content on their own websites. Uh, one that I love is CW.TV.com. You can watch all of their shows the day after. Same thing goes for Comedy Central. You can watch a lot of their full episodes right on the website, and you don't have to have a cable subscription for these. So sites like these generally post shows one day after the television premiere and they are free, so it's totally a good deal, especially if you're a big fan of a certain channel. Netflix is about $7.99 per month. Same with Hulu Plus, that's $7.99. And then Amazon Prime is $99 per year, which is about $8.25 per month. So I end up spending about $24 per month on subscription-based services for streaming shows online, plus I get free shipping from Amazon baked in, which is like totally awesome since I get all sorts of things from Amazon, including cat food. Now I find that sometimes <laughs> Hulu Plus isn't worth the money if I'm not keeping up with certain shows like week after week. So then I'll just drop down to free Hulu on their website. Uh, if I want to watch on just my PC, you can do it for free. Most of their content is available for free on a PC and they charge you if you want to watch via a mobile device or if you want to watch a show that immediately uh, right after it airs on TV. But I know you have some thoughts as far as like sports go, correct? Totally. Because if you are into sports, that's going to cost you a little bit more uh, in order to get the access you want, especially for live content. That's really the challenge of being uh, a streaming only TV viewer, so to speak. Now, a lot of local games that uh, basically aren't available online unless you use a service like, say, oh, let me pull up here, unlocator.com. Uh, you can then use services like, say, MLB TV and get those local games. Uh, so you're not missing out. However, you know, you are going around the MLB TV rules for distribution, but uh, for apps like MLB at bat, that's one of the best out there if you're a sports fan. And, and honestly, it's cheaper uh, for buying a whole season of that than it is maybe going to a couple of live games. Mm, now, yeah. some sports websites will have to require that if you want to watch an online stream, you're going to need a cable or satellite subscription anyway to view them. Now, the other thing I do regularly is connect a digital antenna to my TV. Every HD TV has that built in over the air and tun uh, tuner that will receive free broadcast programming. Check out a site called tvfool.com. They will give you an idea of exactly how many sites you can get uh, where you live using different types of antennas and depending on how you have it set up. Ooh. Now, one of my favorite antennas for indoor use is this company here in the U.S. called Waltenna. Uh, a terrific product, basically a flat sheet of plastic with a beautifully built uh, all copper antenna built integrated right in there. You can hang that right in the window so or behind a picture frame. I've seen those before those, in my friend's house and I was like, what is that thing? They work phenomenally. There's a few designs similar to that. That's like an open source probably 50 year old antenna design, but put in that piece of plastic that you can just hang up on. I have mine right in the window behind a, a window I generally don't use. Uh, so it's it's perfect for receiving the local signals like that. Here in the Bay Area, we're blessed with like over 80 channels of yes. local broadcast television. So 
if you're able to receive this broadcast television, that's a great way to get free sports programming on all the major stations, uh, CBS, NBC, Fox, and usually things like PBS as well. And if you look around, you might find, like for me, I'm an F1 fan, and I find that my local Univision station actually broadcasts the whole season. It's in Spanish, but I really don't care. It's auto racing, and I love it. So there's another good option. So the last one I wanted to mention, because I know people are going to ask about it, HBO. Of course, because we want to watch True Blood and Game of Thrones, right? But HBO Go and HBO Via the Web both require a cable subscription or a very good friend or family member's login information. <laughs> Hey, just, that's just legit. Just letting you know. It is. It's legit. You're paying, <laughs> somebody's paying for it. Another thing to note as far as local affiliates is when I canceled cable, I was still able to get cable via the coax line going to my apartment, but only for the local station. So my CW local affiliate, I could get that for free via the cable. I just plugged my TV right into the wall jack and voila, I had a few channels for free. It was super cool. My SP still allows these channels unscrambled as they call it, but yours might not. So it's kind of a gamble whether this would actually work or not. I know how much that you're, I don't know how much you're currently paying for cable, but I cut my costs around 50 bucks per month when I canceled cable and threatened to close my internet account entirely with my ISP. They ended up giving me a really good deal around $40 per month for just internet, as opposed to 110 for their package of internet and cable. So subtract the $24 per month that I pay for all my subscriptions and I come out on top. So it's definitely a really good deal and you should consider it. I, I consider cutting cable for all of my friends. I, it's been a few months now, and I, I have no regrets of actually cutting the cable. And for the sports programming, I, I simply wish that more, more of the franchises out there for the yes. different sports uh, teams and whatever would do something like MLB TV does in terms of providing an app that really, really gives you almost everything you can watch uh, in, a, in an almost unlimited format. I would like to see like the NBA and the NFL step up, and, and that's the way it is. All right. Well, I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for sending it in. And coming up next, we have all sorts of home theater funness because Robert's here. But first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. It's easy to talk tough about eating right, but when you're starving at 3 p.m., all cranky and lightheaded, the evil vending machine can seem like your only friend. But no fear, NatureBox to the rescue! NatureBox sends great tasting snacks right to your door, and they're great for you too. They'll send you really healthy snacks like cashew power clusters, dried California peaches, or my personal favorite, the sea salt pop pops. And, oh, so good. There's over 100 more. All with zero trans fat, zero high fructose corn syrup, and nothing artificial. You'll even find snacks that are gluten conscious and non-GMO. And with free shipping anywhere in the US, NatureBox is busting up the vending machine's monopoly on your midday hunger. So you can try NatureBox right now and get 50% off your first box by going to naturebox.com forward slash tagzilla. That's naturebox.com slash tagzilla.